What's going on, YouTube world and YouTube tribe? Welcome back to some more Stay of Decay 2. I've, I made a decision. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn into a series because I'm kind of curious to see how this goes because the whole leveling up your base and stuff, that's what really got me. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll continue, gang. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna see what this is all about. Cause I never, I wanted to see what this is about for real. Uh... Why look elsewhere for problems to solve? I'm also gonna have to do at home. probably we'll see, but this I was probably gonna have some and some 2K22. Now that we can catch our breath, we should figure out how we're gonna survive here. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that go is to take out so. zombie threats and make this area safer for everyone. Hmm. I saw a steamer on our way in. Those freaks always gather more zombies. Uh, we should start to, there. To, to search for materials. Yeah, I want to do that. It said it was a mission to talk to Mars, so it's not smart to go looking for trouble. We should focus on defense to survive. dump gets any shorter on ammo we're gonna have a problem follow me would you okay your lead what do you want come on who about the way so I can close the door move Charles I like how when he, when he starts to run, he just barrels his chest into it. Okay, I found a good spot to search for materials. Should this really be our priority right now? Safety at home is always a priority. Z's will be here soon. That won't work. Uh, no. Not really what I was hoping for. It says it's like right here. Oh. This will do us some real good. Perfect. I better get these materials back home. If you want, I could carry that rucksack for you. If you want, I could carry that rucksack for you.
talking to me? No way I can fit this. If only I had room for it. I first I heard that doing the distance. Hey everyone, we're back. Welcome home. Thanks for taking care of us. I think you'll find this helpful. That'll be perfect. Good find. With those materials, we can start building any time. Putting up a workshop would let us repair broken weapons. Self-sufficient is the smartest way to survive out here. Running for my life sometimes makes me miss standing in lines. If we want a safe, peaceful town, we need to discourage strangers from causing problems. That calls for a show of strength, like claiming the nearby military site is our own. The site itself would supply us with plenty of ammo. Some strangers coming through would get the message. If we run out of materials, we are fucked. Hmm. Okay. Uh the work uh so this is done now. Okay. So what's the next mission now? Okay, this this one seems like the closest. We're gonna do this first. Press 
SUV is in bad shape, but I think we had a toolkit in the trunk. I forgot we left all this stuff back here. Where should I put this? No room for that. Should I put this? No room for that. Yeah. Get on. Okay, girl. Time to get you running again. Still a piece of shit, but at least it's running. This should keep her going, but it won't last forever. Next time we see a gas station, we should check it out. I should take her for a spin, just to make sure she's running well. When in park at your base, approach the rear of the vehicle to impress Y to transfer it. I don't know. Okay. Seems like she's running fine. That's a relief. I'd hate to be stuck walking all the time. Driving is faster, safer, and lets me bring back a fuckload more supplies. Hmm. Best day of my life was the day five guys in high school beat the crap out of me. I had to go to the ER and everything. But I tried to fight them instead of taking their shit like I always had. Knowing I could do that was everything. Hey, nobody told me I'd have to deal with a whole infestation. You can't let that sit or it'll get worse. You clear it out? Hey, dude, I'm here anyway, right? The air tastes like blood. There's gotta be a plague heart around. Probably lots of plague zombs, too. my friends nice work bunch of funk and nothing Hardly worth the effort. If we're going to survive, we need to build some alliances. We should start by finding some friendly neighbors. Let me see what else we can find in here. Damn it. Locked. <laughs> Gotta be quieter. <laughs> Fuck me, that's gonna suck.
Just what the doctor ordered. Gotta drop something else first. See that one? Claim outpost. Mark this place on the map as our new outpost. And with a little more effort, this place could really shine. Yeah, I already got all the crap I can carry. Just out here getting supplies, supply, supplies. Was there anything else in this out in here that could? Um, I think I got everything I could out of here. Let's see this one time outside the bar some jerk comes up and said your clothes give them to me tried to take my boots and motorcycle too I just popped him in the face nobody takes my ride fuck you asshole we don't go there I forgot there was something in this car. Nowhere for that to go. Yeah. After you. Oh, hey. You're the boss. Everybody from the army made it out alive. We've got zombie soldiers here. Those helmets are bulletproof, so don't bother with guards. Hand to hand combat is your best option. Great. Where should I put this? Hmm. You talking to me? Right behind you. Okay, people, we are clear. 
Okay, you set up an outpost? I'd like everyone to know it's our territory. Is that it? Oh, wait, there was something in here. Gotta drop something else first. Where am I gonna fit that? Yeah, no room for that. I've seen everything there is to see here. All right. <laughs> yes, we have. Damn, I can't grab this stuff though. I got too much. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's go drop this stuff back off and then we'll come back out here. I said, what are you, what are you doing that? <laughs> Yeah, no room for that. Can What's he happening? carry one? You're the boss. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go in here. Drop this stuff off. Yeah. Hmm. There you talking we go. to me? Switch to him. 
So we build a two place. We need to can we build anything else? No, I guess not. Uh, trying to figure out. Oh, maybe I need to drop off some stuff and. From him to the locker. Can I, put, can I place this in the locker? Okay. fit this where should I put this yeah Drop some stuff off on him. Then we're gonna do one more mission. Well, you know what? We want to keep that, though. All right. Let's see. What's the... What other mission is... Hello, radio listeners. This is your neighbor saying hi. We just moved into town, and we're looking to make some new friends. tracks all right let's go see what these people are all about Take out the nearest plague. What if these people are dangerous? If we can't ever trust anyone, all of this is pointless. Die, you fuckers! Somebody sounds kind of fucked. I think I just spotted a plague carrier.
mean it. We're seeing a lot more plague zeds lately. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. <laughs> Y'all got anything useful before we go? Good thing I got low expectations. He went to one of the new neighbors. Oh, I gotta speak to her. I'm sorry to ask a favor so soon, but our food supply is spoiled. Do you have any extra? We'd really appreciate that. The reason our neighbors wanted to meet up is that they're out of food. I'm pretty sure we got some extra in storage if we want to share. Or we could just scavenge for it. Is they coming with us? Oh, I guess not. What's that? Can do this no worries I like the ass-kicking attitude shit nada I'm one lucky fuck this should keep our neighbors fed for a while fuck me that's gonna suck Yeah, no room for that. Whoops! Fuck. Where am I gonna fit that? I guess we could go get them. Did, oh, I don't want to just crash through the wall. I don't want to. Uh. find more food soon thanks you really came through for us I guess we owe you one no biggie 
The frontier is inhabited by many small enclaves of human survivors. If you help, if you're helpful, they can become allies, trading partners, or recruits, ignore or betray them, and they may become dangerous hostiles. Oh Lord. Damn, I hate these fucking plague zombies. We need an ally we can trust. Then we can kill that heart. I agree that allies are good. They might have stuff to trade that we could use in a fight. Honestly, I think we have the resources to do this ourselves. We can build whatever we need, rather than relying on people we barely know. We don't know for sure if Plague Zeds are created by the heart or just attracted to it. But if we leave this one alone, it's only a matter of time before one of us catches Blood Plague. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Hello. I hope the Plague Zeds haven't given you too much trouble. I was hoping you'd ask. Thanks. Just remember, I'm the one calling the shots. Hey, neighbor. I just finished making a batch of explosives. Plenty of bang for the buck. I suggest bringing some explosives for the heart. She said, I suggest bring some explosives for the heart. Jeez. Yeah, I already got all the crap I can carry. Yeah, no room for that. Where's the other dude? Oh, hey. Okay, your lead. These explosives would be just the thing for killing that plague heart. Thanks. These will come in handy. Hey, people. Our neighbor had some extra explosives to share. Trading partners like these folks are critical to our survival. I better stay on my toes while I'm in plague territory. Oh, is that oh, my fault? 
I thought that was all I was supposed to go. What the hell? Uh, here. He not coming, huh? I just crashed through their stuff. Play hearts corrupt the region and around uh, around them with plague territory. What is it up? Oh, it's up there. Getting close. You can tell by the red haze and the plague zeds, of course. Right. Okay, time for a close encounter. Can't do it. See what we got here. It's useful, I guess. Uh oh. Whoa. That was the sound of my last shot. Whoa. I'm I don't know what the heck just happened. Can you help me? I don't think I can get home on my own. Aye, aye. That's good to hear. Hey, nice job. That's a lot of stuff. I said it's not secure. Why is it not secure? Nothing moving around here but the living. For that, what the hell am I thinking?
should I put this? We're done here. Why is it I can't? Uh, it says I can't do it's a, it won't even let me uh claim as an outpost. It said it could be claimed, but then I said I can't claim it. If only I had room for it. No room for that. All right, let's get out of here. I have no idea why. Oh, play hard. showed us what you're made of we're very impressed by what you've done here we'd like to visit your base and talk about the future all right lead the way I'm right behind you Oh, okay. Now they are. Now they are allies. Finally, clearing out one of those plague hearts is a big first step. Hold on. How many exactly are there? Most of town is crawling with plague sets. It's really bad. Believe me, other towns have it worse. Talking to me? Right behind you. Yeah, we wanna be able to grab both of these. Yo, I'm home. Hey, I brought our neighbors over for a visit. Seems like we got bigger problems than we thought. I think you're underestimating us. We try to secure this town without backup, we're going to regret it. Then let's recruit him. You guys should stay here so we're all on the same team.
Let's ask them what they want to do. Hello. Tag me out, man. Should I put this? Running real low there. Hmm. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. Good call. I think this will work out well. It looks like you're a bit short on bunks, though. It's really no big deal. We can handle it. This is just temporary. I promise. For now, pull up a spot of dirt and get comfortable. Too many butts here and not enough bunks. So, I've been thinking. This community of ours is missing one ingredient. And that's a singular voice we can all listen to when things get rough. In other words, this group needs a leader. Each of our uh, survivors' personality determines what type of leader they can become. The four leader types each unlock their own unique uh, facilities and missions. I'm not asking for the job, but I think we know what my priority would be. We need a sheriff to reestablish some law and order. If you agree, I'm up for the job. A sheriff believes in defending everyone in time and takes risks to help others. They do not tolerate ra uh, raiders or thieves and will fight them if necessary. How you feel today? What we need is a clear plan toward becoming self-sufficient. We can't just rely on scavenging. We need a builder in charge to help us create our future with our own hands. Okay. Um Gotta talk to Let's him. Let's be honest. Zombies are just the background noise of the apocalypse. Let me be our warlord. I'll make sure we own this territory and no one fucks with us. A warlord uh, trusts and values the people in their own community over all, over all others. They believe that only those with strength and value to team to the team earn survival. Okay. I just jumped and I didn't even know you could do that. I need a rest. <laughs> Our community can't survive if we go it alone. We need friends. If you give me a shot as the group's trader, I can reach out to other groups and build relationships. You have a long term goal to choose as a leader. You can do this whenever you are ready.
Hmm, <laughs> my dude just weak. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here, but when we come back, uh, yeah, we're going to have everybody set up as who they should be, and then we're going to continue to build this community, and if you enjoy this video, then hit this button right there in the upper right corner, it'll take you to the first video in this Stay of Decay 2 gameplay uh, walkthrough, <laughs> and, and if you truly enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, then hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so you get notified when I drop videos. And hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content. I'm out, but I might be back depending on how long it takes. I might be back tomorrow with uh with some more gameplay. This time maybe uh, 2K22. Who knows? We'll see. But peace out.